Hi everybody, how's your day? Um, this morning I woke up and I was at 147.2. Um, yesterday I was at 148, so that's a 0.8 release. Yay! Um, today what has been has turned into a difficult day. I um, have this like eczema allergy comes every year on my neck and a little bit on my chest area and um, I've been putting coconut oil on it but then um, one I, I, I ran out of my certain kind of coconut oil and I switched it to a different brand and that specific day along with eating a pickle having a Diet Coke and going for a walk I put this new coconut oil on my neck and the next day I gained 3.6 pounds so I kind of blamed it on that coconut oil and stopped putting stuff on my skin. Um, since then it's just gotten worse. So yesterday I buckled down and I bought some Lou Anne coconut oil from Walmart because I see a lot of HDGers were making coconut delight or chocolate delight with it. But I've just been so paranoid to ever try it out because I was so close to breaking into a new decade and I didn't want to take a chance. But last night I had to take a chance. So I did, and it didn't affect my my weight loss because this morning I still, I was under, again, I had a 0.8 release. Um, so the day started off fine, but I went shopping and was trying on some clothes. Um, and I think that the movement and, like, just the fabric, like, constantly, like, I've tried on so many outfits that it just frustrated it. And I literally broke out in this, like, my everything flared up like it looked like it was turning to welts. You can't see it because the light is so bright. Um, but I have it like under my arms, like on the side of my yeah, and just my chest area, my neck, and a little bit behind my neck, and literally it was like bliss, almost blistering. And I couldn't. I I just freaked out, and I I it was horrible. So I came home and I put coconut oil on it, and I was scratching it, and it was just it was just a mess. So I finally found this in my med medicine cabinet, and, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> I found this in my medicine cabinet. It's just, it's just hydrocortisone cream, and I didn't want to touch it because it's like anti-itch. I didn't want to touch it because I just assumed that it had oils in it that was going to cause a game. But today, in, in a desperate attempt, I checked it real quick. There's glycerin in it, or glycerol. I don't know. I Googled it real quick. It looked like it was acceptable, and then I just lathered my skin in it. It didn't really help it at the time. It kind of burned. I took Benadryl, and then I ended up at the Texas Medical Clinic, which is like a walk-in urgent care. Um, and I signed myself in, and I'm like, hello, people. I'm super dying. Somebody needs to give me like 10,000 shots to numb my skin. But they just told me to take a seat in this crowded-ass waiting room and wait, which was like an hour. And by then, this this stuff had kicked in along with my Benadryl, so I was like, um, how much longer? I don't care if there's sick little tiny children in here with the flu or whatever, or like dying old people. Pay attention to me because I am super miserable, but no, a skin rash is not considered very important. So long story short, my skin felt better in the million years I was waiting in that waiting room, so I left. And I'm home now, and I'm not sure if I drank all my water. I ate everything pop today. And now I'm just feeling hardcore, like craving food. I want to eat something. I don't know what, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to eat my, well, I already ate all my P2 foods today. But I want comfort. I want coziness. I want to feel better. I just want to feel rested, and I'm... You know, I feel like I'm 147, I got, who cares, I'm ready in a new decade, but I'm not going to do it. But this is, um, yeah, so this is one of the first times, in a, I guess in a long, I don't know, a couple weeks, which is a good time for me, right? I've not cheat. well, I haven't cheated since that last time, but I feel so bad like I want comfort food. I don't know what it is, but I want something to comfort me, so instead I decided to do this vlog. So if you've watched it this long, thank you so much. There is really no point of this vlog but to just get it out there. And thank you to those who stuck it out with me. We'll see what happens on the scale tomorrow. I know I'm not supposed to obsess over it, but I kind of am.